Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Welcome to Europe in 2014. I hope, I hope. No. Can we get the other microphone, please? Test? Okay, no. Uh, I hope you all had a um, great morning and like us, can't wait to start with you, Price in 2014. First, I want to short introduce us. Um, this is Tony. My name is Karina. We will lead a little bit through Europrice by giving some organizational updates every morning so that you're always up to date what's happening. And so we'll just start with this today. All right. So the first news are kind of sad because you didn't get your guidebooks yet. Um, the guidebooks are going to be around tomorrow and you can pick them up probably around noon uh, from the desk. Uh, if you need some offline material to look at the conference schedule, there are uh, displays around in the foyer, in the entrance, and in the basement. If you need wireless, if you need Wi-Fi, um, the uh, SSID that you should be using is EP14, and the password is EuroPython2014 with a capital E, capital P. This is gonna be in the guidebook and it's gonna be printed around all the place, but if you're missing it right now, EuroPython 2014, capital E, capital P. So, and uh, I see some of you already got their bags with the t-shirts. Um, if you now decide that uh, you perhaps um, choose the wrong t-shirt size, uh, it is possible to switch the t-shirt, but just tomorrow after the lunch break, before it's not possible. Also, you can't take a bag before with you then. Because, uh, yeah, we have to make sure that everybody gets a fresh T-shirt and we can't guarantee then if somebody brings it back that it's not already worn. So we don't want to have that. So if you want to change your mind about your T-shirt size, um, just uh, come back tomorrow afternoon to the uh, T-shirt desk, which then will be at the info desk. All right, that's already from us. I want to introduce you to the chair of your Python 2014, Mike Miller. Thank you very much for the introduction. Good morning, everybody. And I also would like you to welcome to EuroPython 2014, where the European Python community meets. Uh, just to remind you, we are in Berlin. Welcome to Berlin. And it's, it's the year 2014. And obviously, if you found a place, so I don't need to introduce the place to you. Uh, first, I want to start a little bit looking back. Uh, the European uh, Euro Python since 2002, and then I've, I discovered some data about this conference at the uh, Euro Python Society website, and I used this data. and I like to program, and this is why I, I put a little bit programming in this talk. And actually, this whole talk is written in IPython notebook, and so is this uh, uh, data there. And this is uh, uh, the last Euro Pythons over the last years. You see, starting 2002, location attendees. Unfortunately, we, did, we don't have data for all the uh, times, but we have a few. But this is just the numbers, but now we use a little bit Python, we rearrange the data and put them in dictionaries, and after we do this, we can plot them very easily. Uh, looks like this after we put in a dictionary. And then you have a nice plot with, uh, with matplotlib, and you, that's how the development over the attendees per year went over the last years. See, we are rising, a lot of people coming to the conference, and this conference has a whooping 1,200 uh, participants. Okay, so, so much about the past, but we want to look at the future, we want to look at the next week. And first, I would like to in uh, invite Fabio Plieger, he's the chairman of the European Society, to say a few words and say hello also. Hi, everybody. I hope you are doing well. And I'd like just two words to say that I'm really happy to, happy to see all the people here. It's, you can see, but it's a lot of people. And actually, I will take a picture and tweet that. Okay. 
Hands up. That's nice. And I'm the current chairman of the EuroPython Society, and the EuroPython Society is basically a society um, founded uh, 10 years ago to help to, prov to maintain the, the career of the EuroPython conference during the years, to, to maintain the, the, the way the EuroPython conference is set, uh, to keep it a community conference, an open conference. And um, our job now is, our main job now is to try and do this as the conference scale. And for us to do this, we really need your help. And we cannot do that by, by ourselves. And we would like the, the community, the EuroPython community, to, to, to be as open as, as, as it could, uh, the more open as it, as it can. And for that, come become a member, uh, be part of, of the, com the, the conference, and help us to, to keep scaling and to keep the same kind of conference. Um, the next days will be, an, on Thursday, we'll, we'll be presenting the PSF and presenting the new ideas, we, uh, the, the EuroPython Society, sorry, and the, the new idea we have in mind to, to, to keep the conference series. So come and join us. Thank you. Thank you very much. So do become a member of the EuroPython Society. And that's what we're going to do next, next days. That's, that's a program. It doesn't even fit on the slide. There's even more. But I want to go through quickly what, what, what you can expect. Of course, the main part or big part of the conference are the talks. So we have five parallel tracks of talks. We had about 300 submissions. So 300 people wanted to speak. Unfortunately, we have only room for 100. So that means we had a pretty, pretty strong review process and you can expect very high quality talks. Hopefully you saw it already in the program. It will be very interesting talks. I would like to quote all of them, but they all will be on video so you can watch them later. Uh, also, uh, about the talks, I have a, have a call. So we need people to help us to run this conference. It's a very big conference. And we need session chairs. So if you are interested and would like to be a session chair, session chair is just the person who attend, helps those three speakers or how many are in this session. And please sign up. Go to this website. Or if you cannot write it down, ask at the info desk about becoming a session chair. So it would be very helpful because we need, still need people to help us with the conference. Also, if you're a speaker, just a short announcement, uh, there's a speaker preparation room in C03, that's up here. C is this level up here. So if you need to prepare for your talk, you need some quiet room, then you have a speaker room. But please become a session chair. That would, be, would help us a lot. It's not a lot of work. It's just one session, and then you're done with your help for the conference. Uh, training sessions. So we have training sessions. There are two parallel training tracks. So uh, very interesting trainings. They're about three hours, so if you want to get a bit deeper on the topic than a talk, then the training is the way to go. And, but you need to sign up. So you had a chance to do online sign up before, you might have seen it. If you haven't done so, please go down to the info desk and sign up. If you sign up and you're on a list, you're guaranteed to have a seat. If you don't sign up, you might not get a seat in the training. There might not be space, you might be lucky, but if you really want to see a training, please sign up. Uh, that helps you and helps us also to plan a bit about the rooms and stuff like this. So please take, take advantage of those, in, of those interesting trainings and sign up for the training session, for your favorite training sessions. So we have a lot of things going on. One of the things is going on right now today, the Jungle Girls, Jungle Girls workshop. Uh, yes. So right now, at, at the base level, there's, a, there's about 40, 40 uh, women learning programming with Python and Django. We had about more than 300 applications for this, and, but we have limited room, obviously, because we have a, like a tutor student range of one to three. So we have limited room and limited tutors, for sure. And therefore, we could only select a, a fraction of them. But it's a sponsored event, so it's free for the participants. It's just once they're through the application, they don't have to pay for it, which is a great thing. Keynotes. There will be a lot of keynotes. We start with two keynotes today, and I just put the, like a hashtag here. So today we will hear keynotes about Snowden. I just put Snowden there. Everybody knows what it means. Haskell, test-driven development, something about decentralized systems and big data. These are the keynotes we're going to enjoy over the week. 
and you see the, the keynote speakers. I'm not going to introduce them right now. That will be done uh, right after me when the next keynote comes. Uh, lightning talks. Lightning talks are, are very interesting, though. If you don't know lightning talks, it's very f short, five minutes per talk, and it's very sharp. So there's no no, no answer question thing, question answer thing. And if you're not done by five minutes, you, they will turn on the microphone and next, the next person's talk. Uh, you have to sign up. So if you want to give a keynote about anything, it should be mostly Python related. Uh, uh, just go downstairs to the info desk, there's a flip chart, put your name in, and if it's, it's a first come, first serve basis, so you put your name in, you have a chance to get in. Don't miss the lightning talks. For many people, that's a fa one of the favorite parts of the, the conference, and very often they're very interesting because they're very short and precise, and I enjoy them very much. Postal session. So we had decided this year also I have a postal session, so there will be a postal session. This will be today in the afternoon, so after lunch there will be a postal session. And this is a chance to talk to an author. It's a bit different than a talk. A talk, it's, you have a few question answers. A talk is, a, a poster is much more personal because usually it's just you and the author or, or a few people. And it's a very good chance to get deeper in the one topic in a discussion. And also, if you're a poster presenter, you will have a chance to introduce your poster very quickly with a one sentence thing. You just say your name and the title of your poster and what's about, a few seconds. And this is, will be right uh, after this, in, in this recruiting session. So if you look in the schedule, you find the recruiting session where the recruiters introduce themselves and you have a chance to do this. So if you're a poster presenter, take advantage because this potentially attracts more people to your poster. Uh, more. So I, I mentioned it, recruitment sessions. So I just put the three main sponsors here. We have 44 sponsors and I didn't want to plus the whole slide with sponsors. So you will see this, they're all over the place. So thank you very much to our sponsors. They are very important for this conference. I can say this without the sponsors, the conference wouldn't be possible as it is now. It would have been much more expensive or whatever, or wouldn't even happen at all. So the sponsors are very important. And there are recruitment sessions. So if you're looking for a Python job, that's a good chance, or you want to, to know what those sponsors are doing, uh, there will be this, this recruitment session in the afternoon, and they should come. And this, they, all, every sponsor has a three-minute short intro with a slide or two about themselves. And then after this intro, there will this just mentioned poster introduction. Then there will be a poster session. And this poster session, uh, a booth, sorry, the poster session will be in parallel to the recruitment session. So all the recruiters will be there with a small booth. And you can talk to them in person if you're interested. And please take advantage of this, this uh, opportunity because these are companies that are really interested in good Python programs. And in parallel, if you're, if you're not interested in recruitment, you can go and talk to the postal people. And the postal session is running longer, so you still have a chance after the recruitment session to go to the postals. Next thing, sponsor booth. Though there will be booth all the, over the place. You see in, in, when you come in, in the entrance area, there are big booths. And one level lower, there is a nice, nice place to sit and relax. There's a nice light wall, a lot of nice things, and a lot of other sponsor booths. So I encourage you to go buy by the, by the booths, but the sponsors, because as I said, the sponsors help us to run this conference. And you should speak to them. And they have some nice swags. They have pencils, and they have a lot of other nice, nice gimmicks. So you might take something home for yourself or for your kids or whatever. OK, that's the sponsor booth. Uh, there's a social event. On Wednesday night, there will be so, a social event. So there will be very good food. Uh, I heard they have very good food here. And also, after, after the social event, there will be a club. So downstairs, there's a club. And for people that still have energy left, they can come and join as a club. The great food, I said, that's a very nice cultural program. I just put a picture of the guys that are going to run the program here. So looking forward for a very interesting a program. Also, it's a very relaxed atmosphere, and pretty much everybody will be here. Also, partners are invited, so there can be it's a bit different. It's not a technical conference, but really relaxed. And there's still possibility, as far as to buy extra tickets. So, if you like to, somebody just wants to come for this event, there's still, I think, some tickets left, if I'm not mistaken here. The partner program, very important. So, if you didn't come alone, that's a chance if you have your partner with you uh, or your family. Uh, to explore Berlin. So it's pretty inexpensive way because it's a big package of things you can do, including a, a, a cruise with a, with, a, with a boat here and a picnic, museums and other things. Though everything packaged for the whole week, something to do and in a group to experience Berlin. So I encourage you, uh, if you have your, somebody with you who might be interested to enroll them in the program, you can still buy tickets downstairs. That's it. The info desk. Pie ladies, lunch and barbecue. So the pie ladies are 
involved in the organization of the conference and the conference and in general. And there are two events I would like to uh, pinpoint here. The lunch on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and the barbecue on Thursday. And you need to sign up if you want to go there. Uh, so ladies, Pi ladies or potential Pi ladies, whoever would, uh, are interested in this uh, uh, Pi ladies, uh, go there, sign up, and meet uh, like-minded people at these events. And there are some food also, good food. Uh, sprints. So the, the conference is five days, as we see these talks and trainings. On the weekends, we have sprints, so Saturday and Sunday. Please sign up. That helps us to organize things because the sprints will be catered, but we need to know how many people are there. So if you're interested either in uh, just taking part of the program or even just the own session, so if you want to have your topic covered, go to the, the website. That will be a wiki. You can put your topic in. Just registers there, put your topic in, and then hopefully a few people come to work with you on your topic or join. There's quite a few topics up there already. Join a session that's up and help them develop uh, the Python software on these two days. There's also a bar, bar camp. So if you, if you don't like this kind of very traditional format of a conference, or if in addition you like something else, and they have a bar camp, which is some, sometimes called an unconference. So it's a, it's a different type of conference. Typically, you have one-hour sessions, and there's no pre-planned schedule or talks or anything. People meet in the morning, and they, they decide what they're going to talk about. And that can be something like more traditional talks. That can be very open discussions. Sometimes you want to know about a topic, and people teach you. So it's a very interesting format, and I encourage you to go. This is bar, bar camp. It was very interesting for me. I attended a few, and always very enjoyable. So please come to the bar camp. They have a, uh, also a bar camp tool, so you can also please sign up there so that you know that, that you're coming. Okay, uh, your Python is not alone. We have a satellite conference. It's called Pi Data. So if you're interested in Python and big data, then Pi Data is for you. It's an event running uh, has been running many times in, in, the, in North America and once in Europe in, in February, but now it's in Berlin. So if you're interested in this very hot topic, big data. And Python, go to the Py data. You can meet all the folks that are instrumental in this field and talk to them. It's also on, on the weekend, so on uh, sun, Saturday and Sunday. Good. That's not nearly it. I just put together a few more things. So about the name tag, I just think. So if you get a name tag, they have versions with thicker paper. And I heard they also have some kind of enforcement paper, so it was a little bit thin. That was a small glitch when, when they printed it. Uh, picking up the back, we said already, so it's kind of uh, double here. Video streaming, everything will be streamed. If you're interested in things after the conference, uh, please go to the website and look for this duckling thing. That's some software that helps you to organize yourself. So if you want to go to some pub and you want to meet some other Pythonistas, just go there, sign up, and then you, it's, the chances are that you meet other people that are interested in Python and just hang out uh, in the evening somewhere. And also we have a bunch of sponsor events, so please go uh, to the schedule. There's a, there's a few sponsor events that you can go to. They have some very interesting things. Uh, go there, and some of them you need to sign up. Some of them you can show up, but please uh, go there. I encourage you to go there also. Okay, this was just a very quick run through. And without further ado, I would like to say have a nice conference and enjoy Berlin. <laughs>